Hey everyone, today I show you a new tool mainly created by Execute and a bit by me called EPDA. It helps you to create a PDA mission system in your scenario and I show you how to install it and how to use it. So first of all download the zip. I highly recommend to use 7zip and then you get a couple of files and start with the main HTML file. This will open your main browser and telling you there is an error occurred. This just tells you that uh, something with the default config didn't work. So just click OK and set it up your way um, how it's good. So click on config and here there is a path which is not correct in my case. So I'll grab it from the Windows Explorer, paste it and click next. And here you can define the scenario you're using. In our case RECT, which stands for Rexus Imperial Knowledge Database. It's a little idea to share my knowledge about the game, what you maybe not know. Alright, from here you're good to go already. You can basically now um, save and here you see the JSON output of your config. So click save and make sure to override your existing config file. Press yes and from here on you are good to go already. You see now the bubble view per default. It's quite nice. In the beginning you see the order of your chapters, the overall chapters. Um, I show you how my workflow um, looks like. It's a bit faster. I don't know. Up to you. So remove the default image. Click on should save. No. I want to save it manually to have full control. Click here on shorten output. Um, I want to minimize the properties to reduce the file size. On the no bubble view, you get rid of it. And on the PDA view, and here we say the fast speed of the background image. Make sure, make sure to override the config again and just launch it. Now you see here the PDA view with which is kind of similar to uh, the uh, in-game PDA view. So you have here the missions, the crew, the chapter, tasks, and actions. Now, best to explain the tool is in combination with an example. So here you have from Dawn of Galaxy the couple of sections you can delete with double click the chapter. You can say category, etc. Task, actions. Um, yeah, so let's get started with a simple example and creating a new one. Let's call it Rect Mission 1. And here we give people a reward if they succeeded with a mission. Let's give them 10k. And everything else looks good. Auto start. So if people joining your server or starting your scenario, it will be the first mission which gets automatically started. And then you have here um, some options. You can tell people the story, basically. So here the preamble, the first big pop-up of people joining. Here the chapter completed message. And our simple mission, it will be kind of a hunt. So if they succeeded, this message will come up. And here our mission will be a pretty simple hunt. So yeah, not that 
great description, but yeah, yeah, and now the connections, the relation between it is a chapter contains tasks and tasks contain actions. The important thing are the actions. Only there you tell the game what happened or what should be recognized by the player. So here you can see the check section. And now it's important that to know that you can have multiple actions and multiple tasks. So let's get started with the task. Just the title will be a hunter, the headline can be empty, it will be taken from the title. So simple, be a hunter, 100%. And the action here, try to be as specific as possible. So in our mission, the player should kill two lizard new leaders. And description, use your gun and be patient since they take a bit to spawn sometimes and the completed message if they succeeded. Now the important thing is the check section. The game should recognize that something got killed so select subject killed and here we have a fancy auto completion input field and let's say lizard mule leader um, and two of them should be killed and not just one but really two we can make sure that will happen this way so now we are pretty much done um, with this simple example you only have to keep in mind to not have two auto starts so since we had uh, there remove the auto start from the default Elia mission. So get rid of it. And last but not least, since it's important where you put your chapter, make sure to order it the proper way because the same ordering will be presented in the game. So left click, drag and drop. And the purple indicator tells you where it will be dropped. So put it at the top and then you are ready to go. Click save. This will open two new tabs, a YAML file and a CSV file. Um, quick explanation here. The YAML file is in this folder from your scenario extras etc and yeah the, the yaml file is basically everything you set here um checkboxes drop downs etc the csv file is everything you typed in like string text it can be also translated to multiple languages um, in the moment not supported by the tool straight away you have to do it manually by adding new strings. All right. So since we set it in the config that we want to do it manually, replace everything from the tool created output. Replace it in your file, save, and we are good to go to start the game now. You can close the tabs if you want, and you can also color the text as you wish. It's basically like a default word, whatever text editor. Yeah. You can also set images by a double click in there. So let's start uh, our scenario, rect, yeah. And mm -hmm. 
you should see now the preamble we said yep welcome to us now we have we have uh, 100 percent now let's check the pda view and you see here now our task and action came to listen you know, and the reward we are good to go we can now um, speed up the process a little bit by cheat a bit giving us god mode and a strong weapon and now we have to be patient search leather mules we know that they spawn in open plains and there is also a trick with the ends command which works like a little red eye system even if you don't see something around you you can type the ends and check if they are maybe there so here is nothing mostly on flat planes so let's move on to a better place this is a kind of a beach system sometimes they spawn near but we just see somewhere it's a slime so sometimes they just need a bit of time to spawn so make sure to check your radar system from time to time so here we see two spawned actually here and one of these are a leader so we killed one and we need two and this war was the second one so mission completed and we see our reward success and yeah this is basically our first little example